D'Angelo Cortillo. I want to shake your hand. I want to welcome you to the Straight A Guide program. Today is a very big day for D'Angelo. He's been in prison for quite a while, and it is his first day of working here at Golden State Lumber, where he will be sharing his experiences uh, of, of, of working and preparing for a law-abiding life. So D'Angelo, before we start, I'd like you to tell the audience a little bit about your journey. When did you first enter the criminal justice system? How old were you? I first entered the juvenile justice system uh, at the age of 11. It was um, for a series of vandalism and assaults uh, while I was in a group home. Uh, I, I was put on informal probation and uh, as a result of that, uh, the system you know, has had, had their grips on me you know, since for, for, for about you know, uh, eight, nine years after that. Eight, nine uh, years. So you went through the juvenile system and then the youth correctional sy system? Yes, I started off in uh, the juvenile detention centers, uh -huh. uh, to group homes, to out-of-state group homes, to uh, the California Youth Authority, mm -hmm. or now known as the Department of Juvenile Justice. Uh -huh. And tell us a little bit about how you educated yourself while you were inside of that system. <laughs> well, that's, that's actually a pretty ironic uh, story because, um, Man, when I was incarcerated, I was I was wild, man. I, I was crazy, especially back in my younger younger days, man. Uh -huh. I would assault staff. I would uh, get into constant fights. You know, I would come up my room in the morning, you know, preparing, you know, to, for for a fight. Uh -huh. You know, so um, as a result of me being uh, 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 vicious and, and and having that 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 negative attitude, I was put into a a 23 hour lockdown program mm -hmm. and I would be on those on those programs for about four to five months at a time mm -hmm. you know uh, I remember one stretch for eight months and my mm -hmm. schedule strictly consisted of waking up at about seven six six seven in the morning opening up books and reading I, I would read all the way until about nine ten eleven at night mm -hmm. you know so uh, what I, so, so what that did was was it expanded my mind mm -hmm. you know it gave me the vocabulary to be able to communicate effectively with people mm -hmm. you know it it, 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 it gave me a new perspective on life, you know, whereas mm -hmm. all, all I knew before that was, you know, just being in the streets, you know, the, the confusion, man, the, the, the chaos, man, the hurt, the pain, the sorrow, mm -hmm. man, the, the, the drugs, you know, that's all I knew. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I didn't know anything else, you know, and by reading these books, you know, I was able to explore love, I was able to explore fantasy, I was able to explore uh, different languages, you know, different cultures, different customs, mm -hmm. and, uh, that, and, and and, and that immensely prepared me uh, for where, where I am today, actually. And so you got out of prison how long ago? Uh, I've been out about three months. You've been out of jail only for three months. Yes. And when you got out of prison, did you already have your high school education? Uh, I, when, I was in, was, when I was in prison, um, I received a GED. Mm -hmm. And um, after I received the GED, I applied for several scholarships through um, uh, uh, Men of Honor, Women of Sub Substance Program. Mm -hmm. um, and I received two scholarships. Um, and as a result of those scholarships, I applied for a Blackstone Career Institute. Mm -hmm. I got into a paralegal uh, study program mm -hmm. where I'm, I'm actually currently involved in that. Um, so, so you were school, keeping yourself yeah. aware of oh, opportunities yes. all the yes. time, trying yes. to seize opportunities yes. to, for, to do what? Yes. To prepare yourself for what? Prepare myself, man, for, 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 see, people just say success, you know, but, right. man, life is much more than that, man. It, it, it's, it's, tell us. Prepare myself, man, to, to prosper, man, you know, uh -huh. to, 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 to help other people, yeah. man, you know, to, to use my story, you know, to, to inspire others, you know, to, to show them, you know, that, that, that gangs, that drugs, you know, that the street life isn't the only way, you know, to survive out here, man. I mean, mm -hmm. life is too valuable, man, too precious, man, to, 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 to waste, man, to just give away, man, to just throw out, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's way too precious, man, and, Man, and, 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 and there's nothing that, that, that anyone can tell me or, or influence me to do, man, to, to, to put me back in prison, man, you know, because I'm a grown man. I'm, I'll, I'll never go back. Man, I don't care if I have to, you know, wake up at 5 o'clock every morning, you know, and ride five miles to work, you know. In like fact, you did now. that today, didn't you? Exactly. You know, to, to get to work and then five miles back, you know, tired. You know, if, if that's what it takes, you know, to, to, to put myself in a position to prosper, man, then that's what it is, you know. So you are on the straight A guide. You are determined to make a success out yeah. of your life and to change your life. Yeah. I told you a little bit during our mentoring sessions about a plan. What was the length of time that I gave you in this plan? About five years. A five-year plan. And how did I suggest that your life can be different in five years from today if you stay on this plan? <laughs> Mentors, you know, told me that, um, you know, uh, if, if, if I can stay in a position like this, you know, in advance and, and, and show that, you know, I, I can be.
be honest, but that I can work hard, you know, that, that you know, I, I can just stay focused and motivated, you know, and determined, and, you know, be on time and be persistent, you know, then, man, you can I, I grow. possibly you can own a house, man. Not you know, possibly. Lawyer, you are going to know. own a house. Yeah. You're going to own rental properties. Yeah. You're going to achieve all of your dreams. It's not going to happen by accident. Yeah. It's going to happen by following this straight A guide. And I want you to know, I'm really proud of you. I'm really eager to see you succeed at the highest level that you want to succeed. I want you to prosper and find fulfillment and happiness in your life. You're with a great company. You're in a great program. And you've already succeeded by coming to your job for the first time today. I look forward to seeing you here in one year, two years, three years, four years, and five years, and making a great success out of your life. I want to congratulate you, but before I close, I want to introduce one more person who's in prison. You see, today we've spoken with D'Angelo a little earlier today. I spoke with, with uh, Andreas Lopez. You know that I'm Michael Santos and I've been in prison for 25 years, only been out for 10 months. Uh, the other participant in our program we met before. Come on around here, Tulio. This is Tulio Cardozo, who is uh, very active in, in, in developing our program. He is working our cameras today and our audio today here, but this is all a message that we are all men who have served lengthy sentences in prison, but we're all committed to living as law-abiding citizens, to succeeding in society, and we want to stand here as role models and encouragement for anybody who's watching this video that you can become much more than your expectations or external circumstances suggest. It doesn't happen by accident, but if you follow the Straight A Guide, you can become whatever you want to become. We are teaching success here, and we want you to be a part of it. We want you to enjoy the same fulfillment that all of us, is, that all of us have enjoyed here. And I want to thank D'Angelo. I want to thank Tulio. I want to thank all the brothers who've been in prison, who have come out and made a determination to succeed. I know a lot of people in society don't think we can do it, but we're here to show them differently. Thank you. Straight A guide. It begins with attitude.